hello all it is probably one of my most anticipated shows of this 2020 season <laughs> and yes it is because this week I did not purchase a diamond painting for myself <laughs> uh, and so um, obviously I did talk in my last video about this month's giveaway and how our focus is going to be just getting reacquainted with the initial passion that we felt that kind of took hold of us and grabbed onto us and made it such a big addiction and such a difference in our lives in terms of how we spend our leisure time and our recreational time, um, any time outside of something that's like a requirement. And so for me, <laughs> diamond painting took hold, kind of grabbed me, ah, and it pulled me in. And I tell you, I love every bit of it. I love every minute of it. I am always thinking in terms of uh, diamond painting. I'm always thinking in terms of collection. I'm always thinking in terms of canvases, um, how to display them, you know, how to increase my art collection. I know that I talked a lot about this in my last video when I introduced you to a friend from work um, because I talk about the addiction so much at work. I also um, had two, two additional people that were hugely interested um, in the art of itself. Um, and as you know, you guys got to meet one. Um, so um, from there, I always kind of think about, especially when every once in a while, when a guilt pang will hit me. I do get feel guilty. I feel guilty about how much I'm spending. I feel guilty about, um, you know, where else the money could go. I feel guilty about others who may not be able to invest and, and indulge in the craft the way they would like to. Um, so I, I, I feel a little tinge of guilt for all of that. Um, with that said, you know, I feel like I do my part. I have giveaways. I think... You know, when we're online, a lot of us belong to some of the same uh, Facebook um, groups. And, you know, I have no issue kind of ferreting the community into areas that I think would be so beneficial for them. It is a very supportive group. And I think you guys, there's not probably a, a creator out there that you will listen to and that won't pretty much say the same thing that our group is just so supportive of one another so with that said um for me how i give back and how i contribute is i try to make it fun i try uh to alleviate everyone else's guilt because i understand where that that guilt comes from um, do I have anybody over my shoulder that kind of, you know, wags the tail or their finger at me and, oh, no, 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 you shouldn't. No, I don't. I'm here to be the friend that enables you, the one that dares you to do those things. So <laughs> if things get a little bit too much at home behind the confines of your four walls, Tune me out, <laughs> by all means, tune me out, because I am definitely that girl that's going to tell you, spin, spin, spin. <laughs> uh, the addiction is real, and definitely I enjoy just the art of, you know, everything encompassed in it. I know that a lot of you experience a little burnout and you, you know, kind of dip out into other crafts and things of that nature. I'm here to help enhance and enable those addictions also, just so we're on the same page. Uh, and with that said, this month, 
we are just kind of focusing back on just what we love about it so much from a cute pen to definitely some of the cutest washi tapes around that you guys can put around the outside of your paintings um, to sparklers you guys know I introduced and I showed to you last night several different sparklers. Those came in quite handy for the customizing and the customization of the Snow White Diamond painting that my friend Brandon is working on. So, you guys, there are a number of things that you guys can do to make your collections unique to you and to, I mean, I don't want to fall into the category where we're all working on the same thing, like we're on a chain gang or something to that nature, but make it fun. Make it uniquely yours. I'm pretty sure that that is copyrighted and I don't mean to step on any toes. I literally am saying to make your paintings your own. Make the collection about you. Pick things that match your passion and your desire and things that mean something to you. Because that is what it's all about, ultimately. There's no right or wrong way. There's no, you know, special pluck technique that, you know, outweighs another. It's all about what is comfortable to you. So I want to start off with this month's giveaway. Um, it is going to be back to the basics, basically. Um, I'm going to kind of focus on the art of, you know, diamond painting, get you guys uh, a diamond painting going, um, get you guys going with some interesting videos, and then um, some tools and supplies, supplies that I feel you guys will really enjoy. So with that said, let's go ahead. We're going to open the first package. Yay! There's not the first package. This package is in regards to this month's February Newbie Giveaway. Yay! I wish that I knew how to edit because right now would be the perfect time to kind of throw whatever, you know, up into the air on the screen and make it look like, ah, she has a home production, you know. So I always see those types of videos. I'm like, I wish I was smart enough to do that. But, you know. Then I get my little plain jean self out there. I focus on some other stuff. Woo! All righty. And look at that, y'all. It's a box inside a box. Gotta love a box inside a box. Woo! All righty. Okay. These are receipts. Oh, it says a gift from Tia Smith. <laughs> oh, that's cute. A gift from me to me. I probably didn't pay attention well, guys, when I was placing my orders. Okay, so we're going to start off. Obviously, these are the diamond paintings that are going to be up for this month's giveaway. Yay! And I wanted to kind of focus on some of the tools. Uh, like I said, this is back to the basics. So because it's back to basics, we're going to focus on some of the much needed essentials. Some of the things that when you first get started, you know, you get along the way. These are things that can help enhance your diamond painting experience. And I remember getting some of these things uh, on my own. So, without further ado, I know you guys know what this is. This is a roller. This is something that you utilize usually after you've completed your project. It is so gorgeous. You can't wait to get it up. And you want to do a couple of final steps. Those steps being, obviously, you want to wipe the canvas down. The second step being that you're going to kind of brush. I use a toothbrush. I just bought a pack. I don't know if they came in yet, but I just bought a pack of toothbrushes. I use the medium uh, brush head. 
and I literally just kind of brush back and forth on the diamonds anything that might have you know gotten down into the cre cracks or crevices of the painting I'm pulling out and then the last thing that I use is one of these very very thin pointy uh, diamond paintings anytime I see something I will definitely go in and make sure I pull it up uh, I don't want anything degrading the integrity of the glue you know there is always a question as to how long the glue will last if you haven't painted for at least 15 or 20 years then you don't know you're still in the test phase so <laughs> With that said, this right here will help uh, your diamonds adhere to the glue. If you're going to seal or not seal, it probably is the best, the better, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's probably going to be a great idea to go ahead and uh, roll over your diamonds to make sure that they're depressed into the glue, whatever glue you choose, whether it's double-sided tape or a port glue method it's a great idea to ensure that there's adhesion, okay? So moving over from there, these I find, these are, when you're new to diamond painting, these are definitely must-haves. Okay, so this is a storage container. While online it looked like there were two of them, clearly there's only one. So I think I'll have to go back and look at my description, maybe there's two, nope. I was gonna say maybe there's two separate ones in here, uh, but no, they're individual four pieces. Um, while, you know, you probably would only use a beginner diamond painting, something like this, in these, uh, they are obviously reusable, and they come with labels. I do like that they come with labels. You simply put the number on that corresponds to the number on your painting, and you get started. Here is a pair of uh, tweezers. If you're not adept with tweezers, I know I hear a lot of people call these like the cheap tweezers and things like that. This might be a good way to go to at least start off practicing. It definitely is a good way to go in that it has that sharp uh, edge. And if you're just using it to kind of just to kind of move your diamonds along on some of the uh, canvases. It's, it still has a purpose, it still has a point. Obviously, you know, this is the traditional green boat with no funnel that comes with many of our Chinese diamond paintings. Uh, while I initially did not find that there was a lot of purpose to these, what I started to use them for were, they make a lot of sense, I use them as trash boats. I really do. I get so much, you know, trash. I get the, as you can see, there is excess wax in there, all kinds of things. Little crumbs when I spill them on my area, um, I pick them up, I, they end up in the trash boat. So these do serve a huge purpose for me. And if it gets too cluttered too, I just simply chuck it. There's no desire for me to actually save it, rinse it off or anything like that. So it comes in handy. One of the other, um, things that I'll be doing with the green boats, and I'll show you those in a, a moment, um, has to do with how I'm going to be finishing my paintings. Just as little ideas. <laughs> so we'll move on um, from there. Also included in this beginner toolkit is one of the uh, funnels. It is a, a little bit larger than the green. It's still what I consider to be a basic um, funnel, but before I got my large funnel, this was my go-to. I love that you can place the diamonds on there, shake it, tap it a little bit. When you are done, you had a funnel to pour them back in to whatever your storage method is of choice. So this was definitely my go-to. I still prefer it. However, when you get to some of the lighter colors, like the 52, 3860, 5200, 3865, some of the e-crew colors, um, I don't like using the white bolts for those. So I would find myself either going with this uh, gray tray, and I don't have a lot of these. I think the gray trays come with the diamond dots. Um, if I didn't use that, then I definitely would use the clear boats that come in uh, Diamond Art Club. So just to kind of keep those in mind as to what they, you know, what the purpose could be. Um, like I said, these right here are the traditional ones that come with a lot of our beginner paintings. 
Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. They serve a purpose. And definitely, if you're into confetti and you're starting to build a stash, there are some really great ideas that uh, Brennan and I were talking about. Obviously, these would work great. A lot of people put the Velcro on the bottom and they Velcro them to either Lazy Susans. You can actually buy some wooden pieces at different um, uh, companies. Uh, what comes to mind early on, I know DIY Moon Shop, uh, they have a spectacular beadboard that you can use for uh, times of confetti heavy uh, pieces. Um, and they are worth a shout out because I love the hand painted artwork that they put on a lot of their bead boards. Uh, because it's hand painted art, it's unique, and no two can be the same. That's really unique as well. Um, I saw some of their earlier videos, and I don't know if she's still doing it, but if she is, shout out to you because I thought that was very unique and a very great idea. Also gives you a great um, idea of what you can use uh, these traditional green boats for. So we're gonna kind of move over from there. This right here, until this large one came across, is, I mean, until uh, these large um, acrylic pins came across my notice, this was the go-to tray that I wanted so bad. I wanted it so bad because I just wanted to be able to store my little pink or my little blue pin right there on the side. Get my tray, go, pluck, pluck, pluck. However, I don't use these uh, traditional um, basic pins that come with a lot of the um, beginner diamond, I mean the beginner uh, projects. I don't use these anymore. They have great purpose. I've seen some great things. I know there are a couple of people out there using these to make polymer clay and to make uh, silicone um, braided pins uh, that you can use, you know, for the grip effect. Um, anything to kind of keep the little divots from forming in your uh, fingers as you, you know, pluck away the day. So these are great. They are, they definitely are um, great starter projects. I, I do like what I'm seeing when it comes to the polymer clay as well as the uh, silicone um, bands um, that they're using to, to enhance the pens. Um, so that gives a purpose. It gives it, you know, a unique spin and, um, this again was the tray. It does take me back to my newbie days and it was, I wanted it so bad. One thing that I will point out, unfortunately, as you see, it doesn't have a spout on there. Uh, so sometimes when you have to pull them down into the corner, it can make it difficult. What I would use this for is large color blocking um, areas. Um, and I definitely, you know, would put enough in so that I'm using pretty much all of them. If I got down um, where I needed like 20 or 30 more, I probably would just switch trays. So hopefully that offers you some use. This toolkit also comes with several multi-placers. You get obviously three of the traditional standard individual plucks. They are metal tips. Uh, those seem to work really well. I do like a metal tip as well. Um, and I think I'm hearing that the metal tip works really well with the patty wax. Um, for anybody who is using patty wax, I'm hearing different things like, oh, it depends on the climate that you're in and things of that nature. For me, my experience with patty wax is that, yes, I have had to warm it up. Then I do load it into a pen. I do use mostly metal tip um, ends with the single placer. I would love to find a metal tip thin. Um, I don't usually load too many of my multi-placer ends with it, but what happens is the patty wax expands. And once it expands inside of the metal tip, that's when you get to have your most plucking with minimal uh, re, um, what do they call it? Rewaxing, refilling, whatever that term would be without having to put more in as frequently as you might with uh, standard wax or with the yellow or the white or things of that nature. So this is a six placer, a three placer, and I believe it's a nine placer. It don't say, but yeah, I'm guessing that that's a nine placer. So a three, six, nine multi-placer comes with the toolkit. Not bad. And, uh-oh. Just threw something at me. Um, maybe. Maybe. Let me see if something fell. No? Alrighty. 
Obviously, this is your standard wax, the pink wax. This right here, until we started improving upon it, it was okay. It was okay. Now, all of a sudden, you know, we have better projects, products and things out there. So, I am not mad at the wax at all whatsoever. It was okay. I used it with all these tools and the toothbrush and things like that. I worked my way around it. It was okay. Have I had better? Yes. Do I um, purchase? Oh, I don't purchase wax in particular. I just spent $30 on patty wax. I'm good when it comes to wax for a long time. But this wax will definitely work. It's not that it's not going to. So if you get a new, if you get the tool kit, you know, don't chuck it. You know, try and use it. Yes, I think the only distinction is sometimes you probably have to refill a little more often. Um, but, you know, if you're using a beginner project, you're not working on them as often. Maybe just not use it on one of the larger uh, kits. So maybe keep it uh, 40 by 50 or below. And I think this will work just fine for you. Okay. Last but not least, this is a straightener. And I, I don't know. The weird odd part about it is it has a hole where it looks like you can put wax in. So I would mistakenly use this as a multiplacer where you can't see the diamonds or anything. I'm not sure. But I mean, obviously, if you can see, this would work well as a straightener. So Justin has a multiplacer. I think it's a 10 placer. And he used this his tin placer simply as a straightener. He's he's much more tedious and meticulous about his project than I am. So there you have it. But like I said, this is a great project right here. It does come with this bag. You guys saw me open it, so you know I never used it. Um, I don't know how much stuff I would actually put in the bag. I probably would save something like this a little bit more for like baggy projects. I will put like my baggy diamonds in here, maybe use it to definitely hold the toolkit and things of that nature. Um, but I mean, you guys saw it did come with the um, storage tray inside of it. It is designed to be used um, with the storage tray and it fits in there with no issues. So you do have a way of being able to travel with your toolkit, okay? So that is one of our giveaways for this month. Back to basics, it is a toolkit and hopefully it will bring you guys some joy. Okay, now we try and get it back in here. The, the game is to get it back, it, it, no. So we figure a way. And we figure a way to get it back in the box that way. All right. Oh, no. And we figure a way to get it back in the box that way. The way it can. Here we go. All right. There we go. And I should have timed myself. In two seconds flat. She did it, and the crowd goes crazy, yeah. And now for the exciting part. Here's what we're going to do. Ooh. 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 Okay. As I said, we're going back to the basics. So we're gonna start off, this is gonna be almost like a theme, um, simply because when you buy a multi-pack like this, that is how the theme works. Um, and you guys know how I do. When I do a, um, when I do a diamond painting giveaway, you usually get the opportunity to um, to get multiple. So, this is a poured glue. 
Hopefully you guys are able to see. Beautiful, 17 colors, so 25 by 35. I'm guessing that that is the size of the entire canvas. Okay, on the back, standard tool kit, definitely comes with the green boat, also comes with the pink pen, yay! How's that for basics? And then, here we go. Beautiful diamonds. Beautiful diamonds. Okay? So, and I just want you all to see that it comes with everything needed to simply get started plucking. Getting started plucking. Plucking, plucking, plucking. This is... In this day and age where some people are getting burnt out, which I, I don't want anyone to do. I definitely don't want to get burnt out. I'm working on uh, a large project right now, and I have a time constraint that I'm up against. And because I'm up against a time constraint, I think that can create uh, burnout. I hope that you guys are paying attention. This is a cupcake. What is that in the background? Looks like a red bowl of soup in the background. That's what we're going to say. The cupcake with the red bowl of soup in the background. Okay. And just in case you guys weren't able to see it, Hopefully. Hopefully. That helps. That rainbow doesn't help. But hopefully that helps. All of these are pretty much different kinds of cupcakes. So you're probably going to want to pick based on like what your favorite color scheme is. I don't think I need to open all of them, but I will try to show the colors. That is a cupcake with uh, green frosting, hopefully. Okay. This is this doesn't look like a cupcake. It just looks like a big round piece of cake when you don't want to share. I ain't sharing. It's mine. It's pink. A little something in the background, but it's pink. Okay. And last, this one looks the best. It is coffee and cake. A coffee and cupcake. The cupcake has a blue frosting that looks like like a blue raspberry yummy yummy, and that looks like I'm gonna say a cappuccino or a latte coffee. A beautiful latte. That sounds delicious right now, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. So with that said, as I said, I am focusing on back to uh, basics. And I know that um, I kind of talked about some of the things um, that I use my green boats for. Um, initially, it was very difficult. I was like, I'm not doing anything with these. I need to just throw them away. So I said, no, that's not a good idea. Why would you want to do that? I know that there are a lot of people who are collecting them um, to give to like kindergarten classes, uh, first graders, anyone who does like arts and crafts projects. And I started to think, hmm, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. So I was going to donate mine. And then I said, no, because I saw a video. And in the video, which I thought was really amazing, I saw someone um, use acrylic paint 
to go around the outside of their canvas. And they painted around the outside of the canvas and then they added a little flair and pizzazz by putting like a washi tape uh, bow around it. I seen another lady do the same thing in her video and she put lace around where the painting met the actual acrylic paint. I thought all brilliant ideas, definitely brilliant ideas. But what would I pour, aside from going out and buying a ton of like painting supplies and things, cause you know how I think, that just takes away from another diamond painting. Don't wanna do that. <laughs> so, because I don't wanna take away from another diamond painting, I now have purpose. I have a purpose. And that is, I can pour a little bit of acrylic paint in here, kind of paint around. I definitely invested in some paint brushes to where if I need to put like a design after the acrylic paint has uh, dried, I can maybe put a design, a little swirly uh, around the outside. If I, if I do get around to washing these and rinsing them out, great. If I don't, I can chuck it. So I do feel a little bit better now about that. Not that I want to um, advocate <laughs> for waste and for tossing things out, but I do advocate for multiple purposes. And I think that this was a great way to multi-purpose multi the green boats. So I will be utilizing those. Obviously I need to finish this project because that one is the time crunch for me. But I will, um, share with you guys the results of uh, my acrylic painting. I do have Nola as well as Lips Like Morphine. They are going to be the two that I test the acrylic project on. Um, stay tuned <laughs> is all I can definitely say. Stay tuned. So um, this was just a quick little video. I will get this uploaded and n tomorrow night when I go live, uh, I'm going to roll out the, the rules of this month's contest, which we will be announcing next week. We'll do our little YouTube comment picker, um, and we're going to ensure that we just, you know, have a lot of fun and things like that. Maybe we'll throw in a scavenger hunt. We'll have a couple of freebie, uh, you know, ideas and things like that, but ultimately, I just wanted to make sure that it was fun, that I kept everybody in, intrigued, interested, and attached to just the initial passion that we all felt. Because I, I want friends and family in this addiction with me. It's no fun to be in your addiction alone. You start looking for a cure. Am I looking for a cure? No way, Jose. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Oh, I think I have one additional item to share with you guys. And you know what it is. You have been waiting patiently with me to get it. And it is here. You guys know what it is. So without further ado, I am going to go ahead and get it opened. I bring you guys along on this ooh ah moment with me. <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna bring you along on this ooh ah moment with me. And let's hope there's no disappointment. I had a, my first heart attack in a long time today. I look at my phone and there's a picture of this outside my house. And I am flipping out. Because it's just standing up against the door, waiting on somebody to come along and take it. And you're talking about upset. Are you serious? That's how we doing things? I live in a private condominium community with a main office. If something is too large to go into our Amazon hub boxes, it's supposed to go to our main office. It got delivered while the main office was still open. So I'm confused, totally confused, <laughs> at why this was sitting outside and not delivered to the main office. So 
clearly, Houston, we have a problem. And I was panting. I was panting and I was breathing all hard. And my mom says, calm down. I will go outside and I will try and get it. And hopefully it's still there. Because I don't even know how long the picture, the uh, how long it had been since the picture was taken. I just knew that I looked at my phone and here we have this dumb picture. So, no bueno was not a happy camper. No way at all, Jose. Okay. All right, guys. Any ideas yet what you think this is? <laughs> No? Okay. Keep the guessing going. I think I know. But you know, I'm always trying to surprise me. <laughs> so, I'm in for a big surprise. But I think that I know. I think that I know. I'm not certain though. Because you know, I'm not always good to me. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't see that part. Okay. Not always good to me. Not always good to me. But I think, I think I know what this is. I wonder if you know what this is. Starts off, starts off. Alrighty. Okay. I think you might be able to guess. Let us see. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, wow. You guys see that? It came with, oh, I need to send this to somebody so they can iron something on for me, a transfer or something. I came with a carrying case so that when I go to the retreat, <laughs> I have my own case. Isn't that neat? Alrighty then. Any more surprises? No? Okay, well, beggars can't be choosy. Anything? Hello? Hello? There's nothing else in here, guys. Hey, you remember when we were kids and we would empty like a bubblegum box? You remember how you smoked the bubblegum cigarettes or something? And then you blew on it and it made like a, a, a kazuki sound. I wonder if somebody could do that with this for me. You know? No? Okay, well, it was worth a shot. I thought I'd ask. Oh, look it. Look it here, look it here. Oh my goodness. I'm going to plug this in. I don't think I thought this one through. Look it, guys. All right, I'm going to start by undoing this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And how big is this thing? Please say six feet or something. Six feet or something. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Let me try to plug it. You guys ever heard that song? Plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> It's a big plug. 
I gotta pick a plug. I don't know. Here we go. I'm picking this one. Okay. We shall see. One. All right, guys. Hopefully, uh oh, it has these little magnet things on the bottom. <sighs> oh, okay, so I was looking at it wrong. This is definitely the top because this is where <laughs> this is where the power button is. <laughs> so that's the power button. If you guys can see it. And because that's the power button, I know that that's the top. Sometimes, you know, you just gotta go to a professional. You know, I really try and I I know, you know, I'm using that and I miss this a lot of time. My mind is working in my favor. It's working in my favor. There's something on the bottom. Okay, here we go. Can you guys see that? Let's see. Off, on, off, on, on. Supposed to go down. It's not going down. Not happy. Oh, oh shoot, that was down. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, that's really bright. That's down. I was like, it's not going down. It's not going down. That's because it was already down. Oh, wow. Well, let's try it with a symbol. <laughs> Do I feel bad that I'm going to be losing the broken one? You know, I don't want to be replaced when I get old at work. So, yeah, I feel bad. But, oops, this thing is huge. I just knocked all my washi tape over. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is definitely amazing. Look at this. Wowzy, wowzy. Wowzy, wowzy. Are you guys looking at this? Oh my God. Becky, look at that body. What? Here we go. Whoa. Look at that. Too much. Wow. Well, in case you guys were wondering, <laughs> I will probably definitely be using her on the bottom dim, dim, uh, dimming, dimness, brightness, the bottom brightness. Um, <laughs> um, I have dimmed her as far down as she will go. Um, and I do, I do like this. I do like it. Yes, it is, it is um, amazing. Look at this, I also can measure. This are, are these centimeters? Centimeters and inches. Aren't you guys, something else. Technology at its finest. You see, you see what a couple of dollars I, I sacrificed, because I, going to take this and buy diamond paintings at the next release. And guess what? I said I have a need and although you don't ever want to replace the old with new, you know, perhaps it's time for that to retire. And that's how I'll look at it. <laughs> Well, guys, this has definitely been fun. Obviously, 
I have a new passion and I'm going to give it a try, give it a whirl, see how, you know, I feel about plucking on this thing. Um, hopefully it's tough and it's sturdy because I do have a hard press. Um, and I'll hopefully have some stuff to go over with you guys tomorrow because I'm quite sure that I will definitely know. But yes, this is on the lowest. It is a five level brightness and I don't see me going above one more level maybe four this is five i guess so maybe four but i don't see ever having a need to go to four. maybe if i diamond paint in the dark you know with some wine to make things fun kind of switch it up a little bit like oh brandon justin let's get us some alcohol let's pour the spirits have a good time you know we turn the lights on we diamond paint in the dark um perhaps I can see turning it up to maybe the one, the first one, and um, that way I don't miss a pluck. You know, I don't ever want to miss a pluck. That That's all bad when you do that. So, yeah, thank you guys very much for tuning in. Um, I will keep you posted. I will, you know, get a feel for this for the, for the evening, and then I will let you guys know. Again, thank you for coming to the video, and you guys all have just a great rest of your evening. Make sure you subscribe, you hit that like button, and you come back for more. More silliness, more craziness with Tia's Crazy Crafts. Except this ain't crazy. This is the addiction right here. The crazy part is me thinking that I am going to diamond paint in the dark with some drinks and some alcohol and things. That was a, that was the crazy part. Ain't messing up no painting. Not on purpose. Not on purpose. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you, and you all have a good night. Bye.